Hi there. I am back to try and improve on my telescope a little bit. Once I got it all together, um, works pretty good overall. Uh, a couple issues I've been having. Um, once I added my camera to take pictures, um, the tube kind of got a little top heavy. So I had to compensate by sliding it down. Um, that wasn't a huge deal, but my bigger deal that I was having was my side to side motion. Um, the platform that I was using was just a Lazy Susan um, bearing. I'll show you that in a minute here. Um, without any additional support, it ended up being just too jiggly side to side. So I tried to get a platform underneath, but started running into a lot of problems with that. So this is this video is going to be mostly about trying to address that issue and get that working nicer, um, so I can use it out in the field. So um, let me take my camera off. see in my last video kind of over engineered um, these little screw posts that have the little Teflon um, caps on the tops of the heads there um, tighten them down too much it just would not move very smoothly um, to do the fine increments it would kind of jump that initial movement once it was moving it would slide a little bit nicer but to do the micro adjustments it was not working very good take these nuts off here show you what I have underneath I just got these little screws and I had a spring underneath them just to kind of keep it pushed up so it didn't sink down. But those did not work very well. Um, so this Lazy Susan um, bearing, when I mounted it all together, I think the posts weren't perfectly straight going through and it kind of bent a little bit, so it just didn't operate all that great. So um, I'm going to replace this and see if I can attach it a little bit easier um, just to keep it operating smoothly. So what I'm going to try to do, I got some of these new sliders. I'm just gonna put them around just probably in the four corners. I got two different sizes the two and a half inch squares and the inch and 11 sixteenths, so inch and three quarters um, circles. So that, those might come into the middle there. Um, the whole reason why. I did these screws in the first place was to cover the gap a little bit more. Um, this Lazy Susan, um, once I take this off I'll show you what the dimensions of it are. Um, this sat up a little bit higher so I had to raise these up just to make contact with the base. As like I said, um, there was just too much tipping from side to side. So I just needed to put some support on the outer circumference there. So I'll take this off real quick. A little bit 
closer here. Focus. There, there we go. And so this just helped it um, so it wouldn't spin. Um, my new um, method I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole in this part of the base and then um, just feed a screw through the top down into the bottom. So, like I was saying, this thickness of the Lazy Susan is a little bit taller. Just a little bit taller than what these pads are. And then I'm going to recess the Lazy Susan down into this part of the base. Um, I'm just going to take my router and route that out a little bit just so it sits in. And then this will be all nice and flat. Um, and I think that keeps it a little bit simpler and I should be able to spin it nice and freely. So, so when I go to make this recess down in, um, I'm just going to trace along here. to give me a guide for my router. That should be too difficult to recess that down in just a little bit. Um, I'm guessing this is only going to need to go down 16th to an eighth of an inch maybe. Um, so I'll probably just end up being just this plate down here that sits down in a little bit. Yep. So. Easily can see um, my lines there. Once I remove the Formica on there, um, yeah, route that out a little bit and then I'll probably run my sander over this whole surface, um, especially to get any of the glue off might even um, probably wax it would probably be a good way to get it really smooth um, to go over top of the the sliders so yeah should be pretty good Did a little dry run attaching this just to see how it fits. Definitely think the simpler design is going to work a lot better. Okay. So, sand down the surface a little bit, smoothed it out, try to make it glide a little bit better. Here, show you how recessed in. Just took my router and cut out a groove so it sits flush. So 
the height should be pretty good for that. The way I measured it was just line that up. So these pads are gonna go around the edges. It'll be a nice smooth surface for it to spin on. The glue should be enough just to keep it in place so it doesn't slide around over time. Make sure you leave enough room. Slide them around, push them down a little bit. You should be good. Okay, set this aside. Let that dry for a little while. And for this surface, I want to make it nice and smooth. So, got some paste finishing wax. smooth surface and protect it. Let that dry for forget how long. Ten to fifteen minutes. Then I'll come back and polish it. Got this all polished up. Got some wax on there. Make it nice and smooth. Should be nice and smooth to the touch. So, ready for assembly. And up adding four more of the little sliders. Um, I'm just gonna make sure there's enough clearance. So um, I have a hole. Drilled in the bottom, that's for the screw to go through, so I'll just line that up to the side. And you can just line it up. And all you gotta do is screw it on down. First one, leave it a little loose. Let me go to the next one. You have to slide it into place just a little bit. Yeah, looks you down. See that? super tight nice and snug and there we have it reattach my screw nut I 
That's more just for transportation so it doesn't spin freely. Got the threaded insert in the bottom there. Just loosen that up. I'm ready to use it. This is what I'm aiming for. Nice, easy movement. Let's put the telescope in place. As you're operating it, want it to be nice and smooth. The design that I had before, that initial movement would skip way too much. With the focal length on this telescope, <laughs> eighth of an inch movement here is literally miles out in the sky. feels pretty decent. As I said before, my altitude movement, that is pretty smooth. I'm going to put the camera into place. Um, it's a nice balance. I think this should be good enough. Now that it's starting to warm up a little bit. I'm up here in Michigan, so been cold for the last four months so after I built this last year kind of had to put it up <laughs> into storage right away so hopefully I can get out there my first target I want to do is the Orion Nebula and see if I can get some good pictures of it so should be good So this is the finished project. Seems to work very nice. Uh, nice smooth rotation. And that was my goal. Um, hopefully I can take it out tonight and test it out. Um, just want to thank you guys again for stopping in and checking out my video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave a question down in the comments and I'll usually respond pretty quickly. So, hope you guys enjoy and clear skies to you all. Bye.